Hello, beautiful women. This is Emmy of Eloquently Emmy, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the last part of the series. I've done the Saint Makeup in segments of uh, different applications. So we've done we've done the eyes, we've done the highlight, we've done the lip and cheek, the illuminator, the contour. We've done everything in different segments for the woman who is really pressed for time in her day and does not have time to watch a hour-long tutorial, but maybe you will at some point, you know, when you're on vacation. <laughs> anyway, but um, yes, today we are doing the lip and cheek, and just for an overview, um, I'm going to be using the Plum Lip and Cheek on my cheeks, and I'm using the Angel Highlighter above, a little bit of pearl on my nose, a little bit of Angel on my lips here, uh, to accent uh, and a little bit on my collarbone just to give me that glow and for the uh, yeah for the lips uh, mixing mixing miss mixer I am I am mixing Dahlia and uh, black cherry again which I said and then a little bit of um illuminator okay so I love what the illuminator does for me I love the natural glow that it gives me that lit from within look I've never seen anything like it before. I love it. It does so much for me. And um, these are supposed to be quick tutorials, so I'm going to stop talking and get down to it. Okay, so now this is going to be the last part of our series. I'm going to do a bonus um, eyeshadow tutorial in another segment of the series. But again, this is the segmented series for the busy women uh, who don't have a lot of time to watch a whole hour tutorial. And um, so let's get going. We are going to do the blush and highlight and powder. So now what you see on my face, of course, I did my eye makeup first, the way I usually do it, and I did my highlight. So before that, I prepped my face with my sunscreen and my stay spray. Um, so I've got, you know, my skin looks nice, glowy and everything, but it's just missing a little, little blush and a little highlight. And a little highlight goes a long way. It's going to, I mean, it, you think, well, this looks, looks pretty good already, but um, it's going to get better. <laughs> and, and my lips, of course, we're doing that. Okay, so let's stop talking and get down to it. Um, now we are going to use the blend brush. I love this brush. It is just like a by Saint and it is like, um, it's light and feathery. It's like a butterfly sitting on a flower. It is incredible. And um, yeah, your artist, me, <laughs> will help you uh, pick out your, um, your highlight shades and your contour. Um, and once you get the contour, you can have a little more free reign with the contour too, but just steer you in the warmer, cool direction. But with the blushes, you know, just uh, just pick what you like. Um, and I'm gonna do the basic one I like. We're gonna fool around like more with blushes in the future. But I'm gonna do my plum, which I just I just love it. So um, yeah, let me let me start. Now I will say this is a satin one, and I'm barely touching into this. And when I put it on. I, there's no way, it just looks like a lot when I first put it on because it just, this, these products are highly pigmented and it, that is, you know, I'm, I'm barely touching it. I don't know when this, when I'll ever use this up, but anyway, <laughs> um, I love the plum color on me. Like I said, I run cold. I should have done half my face at all. Um, but you can see, it's not like the contour. You can just, I'm bringing the light in, I'm bringing it down to the contour line right at the top so it blends so I don't have like a line of demarcation there <laughs> like so I'm doing this pretty light so yeah checking in the mirror here and I just keep my blush down here I, I want to keep it out of my brightening zone uh, I went to all that trouble doing that so but if you did mess up and you went in there just take your brush right here and just fix it up okay so there's yeah there's no mistakes in cream makeup so I'll just put a little more on because I can always go back and blend but I want to make sure I have enough on um, and then you might when you when you do your final check you might even go back in and put a little more on but um, I'm just gonna err on the side of a uh, lightness here and 
find your little fuzzies on my face. Oh well. That's my only problem. I'm doing good in life. Okay. All right, so I've got this blush on. So now I'm getting a little glow. See, I had the contour before, but now I've got that little bit of pinkness. Uh, I, I am so um, neutral that if I could only wear one makeup, I would wear blush. Um, but thankfully, I, I don't have to because I have all the different Saint makeups that I can wear. The highlights, the contours, the blushes, the illuminators. Speaking of illuminator, uh, now I'm going to dip into my angel. Wait, I've got to get another one of these. I've been using this, I want to say since last year. So it <laughs> gives you an idea about how long it lasts. Um, and what I'm going to do is I think angel blends fabulously with the plum. So here we go. I'm putting it right here. Uh, I'm going to put it on my finger. You can use uh, your perfector, but I'm going to go over it with my perfector so I don't have any fingerprint marks. But as you can see, you can see it kind of coming up already. I've got my glow on and I'm looking at it. All right, so let's do the other side. And stay away from your wrinkles with the illuminator. If you have them, if you don't, God bless you. Good on you, but I, yeah. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting it right here, but boy, is it doing a lot for me. Again, let's take a look at that side. And um, let me do a little check here. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking it a lot. Actually, there's a little more right here. And you can bring it back a little further like that if you want to. Yep. There's all my actions right here. Okay, so now I'm going to blend it with my perfector. And it's lightly. You're not really pressing really hard here. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my blush brush again and just lightly go right here. I mean, it's like I'm barely touching. But now everything is kind of together, you know, the blush and the highlighter. And I've really, I'm really liking the glow that I've created. Um, so, you know, with my, um, with my contour, how I, I did the lightness here and the darkness here, um, one of my favorite things to do is to dip my little finger <laughs> into the pearl um, illuminator. It's not to say it's illuminator. And go right down the bridge of my nose, stay steady, just like that, to even bring more lightness in. And how did I do? Good. Very, very good. All right, so let's just tap here. Yeah, so I like that. Um, where else could you use your illuminator? Some people like to, to put it up here. Of course, I've got the Sabrina here, but you can definitely put some illuminator there. You could put some on your chin. You could put some on your Cupid's bow right here. Um, I have some line action here, so I'm not gonna go down that road. But um, yeah, you could do that. Okay, so, so now I've got my, I'm glowing. I've got my cheeks, my nose, everything the way I want it. Um, let me do some lips. Um, I'm gonna use the lip and cheek. I'm gonna use uh, Dahlia and Black Cherry. That's my favorite mix. But first I'm gonna line my lips. Um, you could definitely line your lips um, with your your um, multitasker brush. I shouldn't touch the microphone. <laughs> I'm just not doing that. Anyway, um, with some indigo or something like a dark contour. Uh, but I'm going to overline my lips, as I said. I hate repeating this. I'm 55 and um, as you age, you lose collagen, so this helps me. And um, this is the NARS. They make a very nice lip liner, and, and boy, does it stay on all day. All day. I don't even think about it. You know, I put it on in the morning, work all day, and it's still there. I'm drinking water. I drink water all day. So, all right, so let's just, and I'll probably speed up this part because it's like watching grass grow, but I'll. So, yep, line those babies. I overlined them, which means I went outside of my lip line to give me, it just looks a little silly right now, but wait till I put <laughs> my, um, my, my lip and cheek on. All right, so I'm double dipping here. And um, you can use a brush, but anyway, I'm just going to, I, I have to look for this. So. It's lipstick. Everybody knows how to do this, so. Um, yeah, the Dolly is like a satin, and the black cherry is like a gloss, and it just... gives me 
this color. And like I said, with my, my neutral palette, um, I need a little bit of color. Okay, so let me just wipe this off. Yeah, I'm gonna have a tissue here, but I'm gonna like throw this in the wash. But what you can do here is just, I know this looks probably gross, but just do that so you don't end up, you know, some people do it with their finger, but just so you don't end up with lipstick all over your teeth because that's not attractive either. All right, so you think the lips are done? Well, they're not. <laughs> Got one last little step um, and I love this. I'm taking my Angel Illuminator I'm gonna put it right in the center of my lips just to get that glow. Yeah. And that looks, looks pretty sexy, I like it. Um, and I just thought of something that I wasn't planning on because this is supposed to be like a fast tutorial. But um, let me just take, and I, I usually do this with ro rose gold, but I don't have that in my pan right now. But I'm gonna take a little bit right here of my, <clears throat> Angel, Let's see if I got that on there. And since I have this kind of a blouse on, let me move my necklace out of the way. But another place you can do it is you could put it on your collarbone and that's gonna get, I, and you know, I'm not like, I don't always have to be tan all the time, but this is, it's another kind of sexy place to put it. Um, if you have, you know, a shirt on that's, that shows your collarbone. Yeah, so I'm gonna just put it right here. I may look in the mirror because, well, no, I can't. Uh, Cause that's just too close up, but I'm just gonna do this and hope that you can, yeah, I can see it. Like I said, I need to put more in this pan, but I need to just do my refill. But I'm gonna just do it on the one side. Now they have perfumed illuminators. Um, I think three fragrances, if I'm correct. Now if I have a little more tan, you could see that. I don't know if you can see that that much, but you can when I do it with the rose gold, so. And, yeah. and let me just do the other collarbone right here. Yeah, so, yeah, I can see that. Let me see, really close. Oh yeah, it needs a blend right there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, check out that collarbone. Now I'm like glowing all over. Okay, so before we wrap this up, I am going to uh, dip the other end of my blush and bronzer brush, boy that's a hard one to get out, <laughs> into my vanilla dust. And I'm gonna go very lightly, I'm gonna blow. I, I do my, under my bangs first, my fringe. Some people call them bangs. Um, and then I'm gonna just kind of do my whole face and go very lightly under my eyes. It's very finely milled powder and it helps everything set. Um, you could use the stay spray for sure and just skip this, especially if you want a really, really, really dewy look. Um, but this is how I do it because this works for me and this works for my photography and it just, it stays all day. I uh, can't wait to post a couple of the, the before and afters of what my face looks like after a day of work. I, I've done um, two of them so far, so I have to post them online for you to see. Um, I'm going to squeeze the brush to get right in here and right in here. They do make a wonderful powder brush. I do have it, I will bring it out. <laughs> but, um, and then right here, last, just, I mean, lightly touch it. You don't want powder in there. Okay, so, there we go. Okay, so this is kind of wrapping up this tutorial um, where I've done everything in segments uh, and uh, just show you my husband's favorite part when I take down my hair all crazy. I'm not gonna get crazy on you. <laughs> anyway, this is the finished look, okay? So we've got everything on now. The eye makeup, the highlight, the contour, the illuminator, the lip and cheek. And um, boy, do I love the same makeup. I love the ease of application. I just can't say enough good things about it. Uh, it fits in with my busy schedule and then, yeah, and I just, and I just love it. Okay, and this is the finished look. This has been the segment for lip, cheek, and illuminator and powder. And um, yeah, I've made this series for the busy woman who does not have time to sit down and watch an hour long tutorial. So I've broken everything into segments, okay? The highlighter, the contour, the lip and cheek, the eyes, and a bonus eye tutorial. <laughs> so one's kind of glam and one's kind of um, 
you know, muted, natural, everyday look. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me just take you back to the um, lip and cheek. I use the plum. I really love it. I use the uh, angel here. You can really see the glow. I use some pearl here down the middle of my nose. Um, I even did a little on my collarbone. See some collarbone action there too. Um, and I love what the illuminator does for me. It just gives me that lit from within look and uh, yeah, it's just it's just fabulous. I've never seen anything like it before. It just gives you that youthful, dewy look every day of the week. And then I just ended it off with a little powder and uh, to hold everything in place. And um, I love it. It works for me. It works for my photography. And um, yeah, I love the same makeup. So if you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And I hope you've enjoyed this series. And uh, yeah, um, just let me know what your biggest challenges are in applying makeup. And, um, and yeah, write into me. Let me know if you would like to see a little more on one specific aspect of the application. But I've really enjoyed making this for you. And um, yeah, it's been my pleasure. And always remember to wear your sunscreen and remember to live life passionately. <laughs>